Is there a relationship between the kalapas and atoms or molecules as described by science? Do kalapas have a size? And if so, are they all the same size? <laughs> what a great question. So at Paalk, they, or Paalk said, or he liked to say, he liked to refer to the kalapas as subatomic particles. He liked to say it. There are some things that he, I could tell he really delighted in using that in English vocabulary. And this was one of them. So it was subatomic particles. But it's not quite accurate because the way that we arrive at an atom or at subatomic particles and the way that we arrive at kalapas is two completely different ways of knowing that don't really overlap. So the way that we arrive at atoms and subatomic particles is through many, many layers of, of distortion of knowing. Scientists won't like me to say that, but it's true. We can't know an atom just directly with our eye, so it needs to go through some kind of physical apparatus. Let's, for simplicity, say a microscope. I don't know what they actually use, but we'll say a microscope. So it goes through a microscope, which brings some distortion. It then goes through your eye sensitivity, which we know brings a lot of distortion. It then goes through several mental processes, many, many hundreds of mind moments before we arrive at the word atom. And then we think about it more. So loads and loads of delusion has happened before we even arrive at the fact of knowing that we've known an atom. How we arrive at kalapas is to stop using our eyes because they distort, stop using our delusion, make sure that our mind is free from defilements and just directly with our wisdom observe what's happening. And so what makes ultimate reality ultimate reality isn't its smallness. We shouldn't imagine that we're in a smallness competition. In the world of concept, you can always just go smaller and smaller and smaller, obviously. You have an atom and then you say, okay, well, what makes up the atom? Okay, there's subatomic particles. Well, what makes up the sub subatomic particles? You can always, in the world of concept, just, just out-concept yourself and go one step smaller. The smallness never ends. Small in itself is just a concept. So what we're doing with ultimate reality is not trying to go smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller. It happens to be small and subtle. What we're trying to go to is less, less and less and less distortion between the wisdom and the object. Less and less and less barriers between the knowing and the object. And when we do that, we notice, yeah, things are very tiny. They're arising and passing away very, very quickly. That's what we notice. But it's a false equivalent to say, well, because this is what we notice when we remove all the wisdom. I don't know, we're even smaller than an atom or something like that. It's got nothing to do with atoms. Atoms is a concept that scientists made up. Does it answer the question? <laughs>